And what, are, what is this dial? Oh, the dial there with the numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, that's easy. So remember your fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Grundy? Uh huh. She said the sun rises in the east at the equator, and at noon it's directly overhead, and then it sets six hours later. Well, this telescope is designed to track things like the sun or stars. That is the uh, agreed upon angle from north to south. And so this is the actual eyepiece? The actual eyepiece is right here. Right here. About the size of a can of soup. And so we can't see anything, of course, because, because the shutters are closed. Are closed. Yeah. Do you ever open them? Only when we're doing observations, pretty much for education outreach. The public does not get a chance to look through this telescope. We do offer opportunities for people to look through a two-foot diameter telescope instead. And then oh. just lift this? Well, you may come over here. We don't let people do this during the tour, but you're special. Put hands on either side of that. With that, your weight will make it go down and drop you at almost exactly the place, and then you can drop off. We're gonna Are you sure you have enough traction? I can move the floor a little higher. I'm okay. Start pushing hard. <laughs> oh no, you're pulling. Oh, pushing. <laughs> would you like? Would you like me to uh, push it? And I can. If you oh, hold, yeah, there if it you goes. hold on, you'll go up in the air with it. That way. You that way. Ready? Ready. Okay. Don't let go. Wait. How? How am I gonna get back down? Oh, just hang on because your weight. Okay. Will take <laughs> See the telescope's moving back oh, down again. It's like a ride. We do not let you do this during the like, <laughs> schedule tour. And oh notice yeah. It's coming back down. And I'll help you stop it. Aren't laws it's of physics heavy. wonderful? It is very heavy. Ta da! After my magical ride on this very expensive piece of equipment, I finally got a chance to take control and move the floor. So we're going to move the floor down now. And which button do I want to press? The one that, one that says, says floor, floor, huh? <laughs> and hold it. Don't let go. Press it down. And, and Switch. as don't I do that, go. the floor is going to come down. The floor is going to go down. And the green weights are going to go up in the towers. If you let go, it'll stop, so don't let go. It will automatically stop. There's nothing you can do to break the floor. That's a good thing, because I that often break thing. things. <laughs> and this is the original floor? This, well, technically it's the second floor, the first one having collapsed in 1897 before dedication. And keep going until it goes, er. That's perfect. Now, there if you're you looking it. at the telescope from here, you notice that the eyepiece is a good 20 feet off the ground. So the reason it's that high off the ground is we used to attach various and sundry scientific instruments to it. For example, here's a picture taken of Bill Morgan in 1927. So Bill Morgan. Bill Morgan. And who was Bill Morgan? Bill Morgan was an astronomer that came over from Vanderbilt University and uh, got his degree here at Yerkes. This is the year he arrived. And the first thing they did, possibly because he was tall, good looking, and knew how to dress well, didn't wear Hawaiian shirts, first thing he did was stand in for scale while they're taking the 10,000th picture of the sun. Six years earlier, Albert Einstein won the Nobel Prize in physics, and here is Albert Einstein in 1921. So Albert Einstein was actually in this room. Yes, he visited. In fact, I could take this photo off and swing it around and hold it to show you where Einstein was standing. How does that work? Well, we take this picture and we walk around this way. You can then see the pier of the telescope. Which is right And there. the telescope up there. So he was standing um, right about here. See that lex on the floor? He was standing right there. I'm lying, there really isn't. There is no X. <laughs> One day we'll do it. But somewhere here. Yes, yeah, somewhere there. Is where Albert Einstein So you should standing. be getting pretty much the same view. And the dome actually rotates? Yeah, it rotates. It rotates. Yeah. And every few minutes we turn the dome. Let's do it. Okay. If you were outside, you probably would not hear it moving. But you'd certainly see it moving. So we're moving it in order to get it aligned. The telescope can track automatically and you have to move the dome every few minutes. As the next tour comes in, 
I get whisked away to get an in-depth look at the discoveries from the night skies.